गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टेन कॉलेज इलेक्ट्रिक अकॉर्डिंग टू मी सम क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आई कैनोट गैस ऑल दो आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू सॉल्व योर डाउट बट टू माई माइंड दिस टू क्वेश्चन आई डोंट नो वेदर यू हैव सॉल्व अर नॉट बट ना यू सी आई ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस टू If one, two, four, y, x, six, and three, five are vertices of a parallelogram, find the value of x and y. So now, my dear, you see the solution, and you see you can draw roughly the parallelogram, and you can write the coordinates given in the question, and then we will. Try to um, implement the technique which I am going to explain you, and then you will find the value of. So this is a parallelogram A B C D, and A B and C coordinates are given, but we don't know the ordinates of point B and abscissa of point C. So, what are the values of these two x and y? In geometry, we know the diagonals by geometry. Why geometry? Diagonals in a parallelogram bisect each other. So, diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. This is the important theorem. That we are using bisect each other. So this means O is the middle point of AC, and O is the middle point of B. So coordinates of coordinates of O, coordinates of mid point of mid point mid point O of Mid point O of AC is equal to coordinates. Coordinates of mid point of BD. Mid point O of O of mid point O of BD. So my dear, this is the big theorem in. Uh, In this question, we are using the theorem: the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So this O is the middle point of AC and BD, and so this is the property of parallelogram. So O is the middle point of AC and also of BD, and therefore the coordinates of O, that is mid point of AC and also mid point of BD, will be equal. And now, so middle point, you you remind yourself that the middle point points. So you know, x one plus x two by two, one plus x upon two, and y one plus y two by two. So this will be one plus x y x plus one. Both are same, and this will be four. This is the coordinates of O, and similarly, the coordinates of as I get them, we also write both sides. So this will be four plus three, four plus three by two, and y plus five by two. So this two will be equal. This will be equal to this. Of course, the order is yeah. abscissa will be equal. So one plus x means x plus one by two is equal to seven by two. Two two you can cancel all by cross multiplying. So you will get the value of x is equal to how many? X is equal to six. Similarly, this is equal to this. So this will be four. Two plus six eight by two four. Four will be equal to five plus. Y plus five over one two. By cross multiplying, y equal to eight minus five. 
which you got to put through. These are the values of x, 6 and 3. Understand? So, this type of question are also important from examination point of view. You will try to solve. So, I re-explain the solution. A, B, C, D, suppose this is a parallelogram and O is the middle point. So, by geometry, by geometry, diagnosis of parallelogram bisect each other. And therefore, O is the middle point of AC and also middle point of BD. And using that property of parallelogram, the coordinates of midpoint of AC and coordinates of midpoint of BD will be equal, same point, therefore, and the midpoint theorem, section formula, special case, if the point is, is the middle point of any line segment, therefore, the coordinates of the point will be x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2, and similarly here also. And since O is the same point, therefore both will be equal, Fc sub will be equal to Fc sub, and R in and R in, this is equal to this, by simplifying you are getting 6, and if you multiply these two, you are getting Y equal to 3. This is the solution of question number 6. I suppose you must have understood, or any problem, suppose, so I will try to explain you in Google Meet, and now you see one question more. So I suppose you will be uh, completing your copies and if you don't uh, complete your copies, you will be penalized. Now you see, if A and B are minus 2, minus 2, 2, minus 4, this means these are the coordinates of A and B. A and B are the end points. So you see here, Light AB line segment, two endpoints A and B, coordinates of A minus 2 minus 2, and this is 2 minus 4. And P is the point on this line segment, and the condition is AP is equal to, AP is equal to 3 by 7 AB. This is the point you have to understood, because here students may get problem here, so I try to emphasize on this point. AP is 3, 7 part of AB. Now we have to find M1 and 2. So AP is to PB how much? But here is not given. Here you can see, so it's come up to AP is it's got 3 by 7, this, will, this is 3, a whole is 7, so this will be 4. Or, or this we simplify it, so we can say that cross multiplying 7 AB is equal to 3 AB or 7 AB. We are trying to find AB is to PB, how much? And then we will put the value. So 7 AB, you leave it, 3 into AB, you convert into AB plus PB. This will be AB plus PB. On simplifying, you can get the ratio of AB is to PB. So 7 AB is equal to 3 AB plus uh, 3 AB, 3 PB. Now AB, you transfer here, so 7 AB minus 3 AB. So this will be 4 AB okay. is equal to 3 PB. So what is the ratio? AB by, you transfer here, PB is equal to 3 by 4. This is uh, M1. M1 3 and M2 4. This is the difficult portion of this question. Or uh, if you if you if you use your uh, understanding, so we can it is very simple. 3 by 7 means A B 7 power B is 3, so this will be 4. So 3 is to 4 is the ratio. Or if you don't understand that, so by simplifying you can get the ratio. AB is to PB, 3 is to 4. This is 3 and this is 4. And now you can find the coordinates of point P. So this was the only difficult part of this question. And the remaining question, uh, remaining solution is very simple. X is equal to, to write the formula. M1 X2 plus M2 X1. 
Abraham and then Flash and Fury. Now put the value. <coughs> 3 and 2, x to 2, plus and 2, 4, or into x1 minus 2. And this will be 3 plus 4. So this will be 6, and this will be minus, minus 8. So 6 minus 8 minus 2 by 7. This is the value of x. Now you see y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 3 plus yeah, m1 uh, you write the formula and now you will put the values 3 into y2 y2 minus 4 and plus m2 m2 4 and y1 minus 2 also upon 3 plus 4 so this will be minus 12 and this will be minus 8 and this will be 7 minus 20 by 7 So my dear students this is the solution why say if you if you make it clear okay, what is the ratio of AP is to PB then nothing in the question as you have yeah, as you have found the coordinates of a point which divides the line segment in given ratios. But here is the only difficult part of this question. The ratio is not given AP is to PB. AP is equal to 3 by 7 AB. Uh, so you can understand if you use your common sign. So this 3 by 7 means this is 3 and this is the whole part is 7. So remaining part will be 4. 3 is to 4 in the same part. That's all. So calling geometry I have completed. And once again, I would like to remind you from 1st uh, of September, I will start trigonometry again. So you will be very careful. You will, you will watch every video of trigonometry and next chapters. And whenever, whatever you get the problem, you will contact me. I will try to solve. So thank you and have a nice day.